So recently, Facebook said they're making a kids-only version of Instagram. This video is about how not only is that not gonna work, but kids on social media, it's a bad idea. So if you know me and Facebook, you know that I'm not a big fan of Facebook and everything they do. And Instagram is probably the worst plague to, well, I guess, uh, inhabit the internet, to be hosted and be accessible through the internet. It's essentially, and I'll put this as unapologetically as possible, the normies gateway to the internet. It's what a lot of quote-unquote normal people use and for that it should be punished but anyway they're making a kids only version for it because we all know the only people truly stupid enough to enjoy and find fulfillment from Instagram are children so the first red flag it's essentially just a pedophile's dream make a fake account as a child on this and then groom children that's absolutely the perfect thing for these sorts of criminals sure they can disable private messaging on Instagram Instagram kids, but it's probably not gonna do much because these sorts of criminals, they have their ways. Another retort to this being a good idea is that YouTube tried this exact same thing and it failed miserably. The thing is, kids, especially on the internet, they want to see stuff that they're normally not able to see on television or in this place that you may have heard of called real life. Kids are like sponges. They see something and they just soak it up. They learn a lot about the stuff they see. And if they have access to something like the internet where it's a gigantic gigantic repository of people and information, false information, skewed information that may be very misleading and very, very biased and stuff. If they have access to that kind of stuff, as they do in the modern age, that's basically gonna cause them to be very attracted to that because kids love learning new things. So if you go tell children to start using something like YouTube Kids, they're just gonna laugh in your face because they wanna watch all their favorite YouTubers who make not so family friendly videos, things that have cussing and inappropriate subject matter and stuff. I watched that kind of stuff as a kid and no, I'm not proud of watching the AVGN when I was seven and learning all those nasty cuss words, but it had some effect on me. Basically, my point is kids want free access to everything, including things they're definitely not meant to have access to. So if you try to restrict it, they're just gonna get around things in worse ways. It's the same thing with things that used to be legal, but then became illegal and then became legal again. Like for example, drinking alcohol in the United States. It's a bit odd to compare YouTube kids to prohibition, but I'm gonna try anyway. So you know, you got the prohibition during the 1920s. The government decided that people are not meant to drink and drinking is bad and it leads to wife beating, so it's bad. So after making drinking illegal, it is true that some people did stop drinking and the rate of drinking saw a drop, but eventually it went back up higher than ever because people began getting it from illegal sources and they were getting harder liquor and less safe liquor. And younger people who used to not be able to drink were now drinking more because, hey, if I'm breaking the law by drinking, I might as well also break the law by drinking underage because what's the point if I'm still going to break the law? And as we all know, all of this eventually led to alcohol being legalized once again in the United States. Okay, so moving on from saying that Instagram kids is a bad idea, to explaining why kids on the internet in general is a bad idea. We all know kids are vulnerable and very stupid sometimes, so they'd probably just believe anything they see, including propaganda and fake news, if you want to call it that. Sites like Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr have very well-defined agendas around them, and they have properly tuned algorithms to push certain agendas, whether it benefits them, their advertisers, or just makes them more money. These highly political agendas are often reflected and what you see on your feed and what kind of things are allowed to prosper on the site and what aren't. Just look at YouTube, where if you say anything their advertisers might not like, you're basically screwed. Exposing children to what's essentially a curated hive mind of ideas is possibly the single worst thing a parent could ever do. Well, maybe that's second to something like brutal medieval torture, but it's pretty close. And to think that many young adults and regular adults are not really able to think past the bias of these websites with their mature developed brains? Well, that just puts into perspective how dangerous it is to let a child roam these sorts of websites for their understanding 
understanding of the world. To gain a proper understanding of the world, you have to have an exposure to everything, and you have to be able to critically think about it. But these websites don't want you thinking critically, because if you think critically, you're probably not gonna use these websites. And that means they lose out on money. So yeah, Instagram kids and kids on the internet is a really bad idea. And I really hope this whole Instagram kids thing flops or fails or something really bad happens so it does not succeed, because I think it will have very detrimental effects on children. Anyway, thanks for listening to my rant. Uh, please put thoughts and opinions and stuff in the comments. I'm really interested to see what people think about this kind of thing. And I've been Denshi. Goodbye.